Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from Carway. So I've got a really interesting BMW fanboy drag race for you today because I've got an M8 competition and next to me is an M5 competition. This car has a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8, 625 horsepower, 750 newton meters of torque, eight speed automatic gearbox, launch control, four wheel drive. Tell you about the M5, which is quite similar. We've got Joe Achilles. Hi Joe, how you doing mate? Good buddy, good. Your car's basically got the exact same powertrain as mine, hasn't it? Identical, I believe, yes. And they even weigh the same, don't they? What's the weight of them? I think there's about 15 kilos between them. Nothing in it, really. This is sleeker. It might be a bit better when you're going quicker, a bit more aerodynamic, but really... It's not going to make much of a difference, is it? No, I wouldn't have thought so. If it was a mile, then maybe, but over this shorter distance... I think it's going to be pretty close. Well, I have no idea what's going to win. In fact, why don't you see if you can guess, click on the pop-out banner up there in the top right-hand corner of the screen to vote which you think is going to win the drag race, the M8 competition or the M5 competition. before we race. So I'm just going to go and do mine now. I think I'll warm it up in four-wheel drive mode because I'm going to be launching in that. Oh, what a legend. And of course, being an M car, you can actually put it into two-wheel drive mode as well for some added fun. There's so much fun. <laughs> I think I am done here. That's enough of that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into four wheel drive mode to launch it. There. I've never done this before, so let's see what happens. I think you're doing a better job of it than me, mate. Do a bit of two wheel drive just for giggles. Okay, two wheel drive, here we go. <laughs> Right, don't get too carried away. <laughs> now, before we get into the race, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. That way you will not miss a single video. And if you want to follow Joe's channel where he does lots of BMW stuff and other high performance cars, the link is in the description. Right, let's race. <laughs> Do you know what? I've had that problem with M5s before. This thing though, no problem. It did the job. Three, two, one. Oh, rocketed. Beat him off the line. <laughs> Short shifted again. This thing just shoots off the line. That M5 is just inconsistent to launch. Ah. That is rapid. So frustrating. What happened, Joe? Again, straight away, short shift. It just went first, second, bogged down. <laughs> and then you were gone, it just couldn't stay with you. So this time we're going to do it a bit different. I'm actually not going to use launch control because for some reason it's just not happy with it. I'm just going to stall it in first gear a little bit and hope that I can do it. Oh, launch so good ahead of him. traction it gets is amazing. <laughs> now Matt, what are you doing, mate? This just launches brilliantly. That one, not so good. 
Yeah, I have to agree, man. There was, uh, I launched well that time, but you're still just disappeared off the lines and it's a losing battle. This is where your extra 20 grand goes. This is like 120 grand. Yours is about 98. Yeah, I did wonder because obviously... This is essentially more car, more seats, more tech, more everything. Fair play, mate, fair play. Well, the car did it, it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> I just sat here and stopped it weaving either left or right. That's what I did. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the M8 competition did the standing quarter mile in 11 seconds dead. While the M5 competition took 11.7 seconds as its launch control system wasn't delivering the goods. Now, previously, when I've managed to get it to work properly in another M5 competition, that car did in 11.1 seconds. But I've also had another M5 competition that, like this particular car, struggled to launch properly. However, every M8 I've ever launched has always delivered the goods. Maybe that's where some of the extra cash goes. What I want you to do is put your car in full comfort mode. Throttle is in efficient, suspension comfort, steering comfort. How do I do all this? So many modes, so little brain power. Mm -hmm. No, no. Set up, set up. Oh, bloody hell. This takes a while. Efficient, chassis comfort. Come on, I want you. There we go. Comfort. All comfort. There we go. I'm all set up. Finally. It takes a while in these cars sometimes. Let's do it. Rolling race. Gonna call it in. You ready then? Three, two, one, go! Kick down. This is where my improved aerodynamics should come in. You feeling that? That's 20 grand there. That's the 20 grand difference there, Joe. Yes, mate, I can. But the thing is, the kids in the back are enjoying this, whereas, you know, you've got no room for other people to enjoy the speed. I just want to enjoy it on my own. If you've got kids in the back, you've probably got your wife next to you and she's going, slow the heck down, you moron. You're going to kill us all. Good point, mate. Right, and Joe, now what we'll do is a rolling race in third gear, but in sportiest setting. Yes, mate, absolutely. I'll just get to 50 miles an hour, then I'll call it in. Here we go, we're around 50 now. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I've got my windscreen wipers on by mistake while we're reaching for the gear paddle. Yes, it's happening again to him. Oh, the joy. Oh, <laughs> it's just a little bit quicker. Oh, the absolute joy. God, I'm going quick, 160, that's enough. Definitely beat you there. Yeah, there's absolutely no doubt that that car is just that little bit quicker. That was awesome though, really, really good fun. <laughs> Final challenge, brake test, 70 miles an hour, full emergency stop. Here comes the line, here it comes. Here's the line, can't see the line, Rain, here's the line. <laughs> Do you know what, mate? These cars, they weigh exactly the same. I think they've got the same brakes on them. We stopped in the same distance, didn't we? That was just unbelievable. I mean, look at that. There must be inches in it. I've got a head rush from that. It hurts so much. It's slowing down so quick. That is insane. You know what? Our timing must be... <laughs> I'm just going to get out to see. There might be, there might be millimetres in it. I, I want to try and call a winner. Maybe you do win one in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Matt, please give us a win here. Come on. Give us a win. Oh, I think I've won it. Well, I've won something. <laughs> Joe, can you see how my front wheel is like straddling that line? Yeah, unfortunately, I can't see what mine are doing, yes. <laughs> Your wheels are behind the line. Oh, yes! 15 centimetres. <laughs> oh, mate, 15 centimetres. That's all it takes. That means I've won. One out of the three, but you know. <laughs> so, 
2 1 to the MA, uh, brake test, it's so close, really. What an interesting race. I actually thought it'd be much closer. The performance on this and the way it launches consistently is impressive. It's really impressive. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, subscribe to Joe's channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Instagram at Matt Watson Cars. Thanks for watching. This is really exciting. <laughs> I'm finally on Carwell and I'm racing the real Matt Watson in a BMW. Right, guys, you can start getting ready for the... We're done with this one. Sorry, it wasn't every single time. This thing's a nightmare.